Hey everyone, so today I am with JP Metz and um, I just curled her hair with the straightening iron. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So why don't you watch how? So basically, I'm gonna give Justine this Bieber part so that I could do um, the hair underneath. This is the most awkward filming situation ever. It really on is. Like you guys have no idea. You no, know, this is so awkward. Like you have no clue. So basically, what I'm gonna do is like Nikki's kneeling in front of me right now. <laughs> it's actually kind of really awkward. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this hair here, and I'm just gonna pass it through, but also curve the straightener at the end. So you know you get one of these jobbies. And I'm going to keep doing that around her head. And I'm going to try, oops, to do the bottom first. Yeah. Do some of these upside down jobs. What? You know what? what? What do you know? What do I know? No, I'm. I think I just think it's funny because I I bashed you like you've done this to my hair before and I'm like how do you do that and you're like I don't know mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden you're doing it for a YouTube video. Oh well yeah I guess. I mean oh, I just didn't want to tell you. You're giving them a really nice view of your arm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right I'll try I'll I'll go back here. There we go. Now, it would be this, useful. It, it just got even more awkward. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. It's just what. Well, now you're like kneeling behind me. Oh, well, I am, yeah. It's... And we're like on a bed, and it's Correct. just. I sprayed this cheek hair and mist on her hair before I started. <clears throat> yeah, clips would be really helpful. Yeah, probably. Um, but, you know, good thing this is YouTube and not a salon. And uh, the reason why I leave the top to last is because that's the part of the hair that's like going to be laying on top of all of the rest. Mm. Hence, you know, the hair on top. So I just did the back of her head, which I didn't feel necessary to film because you wouldn't be able to see it. So, now when you get back to the front, I'm just gonna, you know, lay the hair in her face conveniently. That's fine. And this is the last side piece that I have to do. So I'm just curling that away from her face. And you kind of tilt the straightener, like you don't go straight down and curl it, you grab it and then you kind of pull on a diagonal. I hope you can see that. And that's how you get like the spiraliness at the bottom. That's actually what they call it in beauty school, spiraliness. Alright, so at this point, I'm going to take the sections down one by one and I'm going to split them into, I guess, three. Whatever you think is a suitable size. And I'm gonna start at the root and go up, and then diagonally down. So that's gonna create some volume up at the roots as well. This whole thing is really not taking long. No. I'm glad because I'm hungry. Fail tuft. Nobody else has a fail tuft. <laughs> I'm the only one that has a fail tuft. I don't even know how that happens. It don't. So basically, waste time I, I I I straightened that first, and then I'm gonna go back in and curl it together, so that hopefully it will just stay. And I kind of curl the front pieces um, back. So that they fall that way instead of just down. Now if you're wondering what a fail tuft is, <laughs> it's basically just an accumulation of things that happen when you make a series of mistakes with your hair. <laughs> Setting it on fire. Oh yeah. Bleaching it repeatedly. So. Yeah, she set her hair on fire. I did set and my hair so on fire. so this um, front part. Is this gonna be in the video? <laughs> like I set my hair on fire? <laughs> okay, yes, it was a while ago. It's grown back, but you know, it's grown back into that. So, just don't... It's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to run it It was an it accident. In. I think it's pretty disguised on that side. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. I mean, you haven't even gotten to the real tough jet. Are you kidding me? You're, yeah. just, you're just getting started, Nikki. Good luck. Again, at the crown, I'm doing it upside down and then pulling it diagonally away. And you get this. I hope you can see that. And so if you keep on doing that all with the top portions, you will see a lot more volume at the roots. You should have seen my tuft this morning when I woke up. Was it good? Oh, oh man, it was like a bush and it was like sticking out and it was like, yeah, it was pretty alarming looking. Hopefully this wire is not gonna be in your face. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Hopefully it is gonna be in your face. Yeah, in it's, like... yeah, it's, I mean, I mean, it is pretty bothersome, don't worry. All right, so we're almost at the big guns, okay? It's on the top and it's in the front. So I'm gonna separate this into bigger sections. This is the section I'm going to do last because this is going to be the very top. That's, that's the toughest piece. Yeah. Like, like... And like, li literally, like, ironically, the, the toughest is the tuft. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to take as much hair as I can, and that will make sure that these curls in front are softer. And I'm making them lay, if you can turn your head that way. I'm making them lay back so that they're, that's naturally where they're going to want to go throughout the day. And then this I think might be a little too wide. Here, turn, uh, face and form forward. Yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah. This might be a little too wide, so I'm going to take a little out there. Do this one separately. Okay, I'm getting to the fail tuft. Curl that forward and then bring it around here and straggle you. Curl it back and then I'm going to take the longer pieces and curl it in front. fingering my tuft? I think we're done. Ah. So I'm going to put this on the heater. We're just going to kind of play with it a little and make the curls look a little less, um, I guess, contrived. Is that what you're going to title this video? Suddenly awake, fingering and playing with Jake and <laughs> So what do I have here? I have putty. Take some putty. I'm going to work that into my fingertips so that it's really light. I'm just gonna try to press down the. You're shellacking down my tuft. I am. All right. Just, just let them know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm shellacking down the tuft. I'm gonna do underneath and kind of massage it up. I'm gonna do the same for the crown here, and that's gonna give more volume too. This is also probably a lesson to not straighten your hair every single day, maybe. Oh yeah. To prevent the formation of a fail tuft, using the proper products, you know, all that crap. Kind of working. And through very gently so that you don't ruin your curls. And this is just L'Oreal Elnet Satin Spray. I'm just gonna spray just a little bit. That smells like baby. It does. And that's it. So, oh, and here's a dog. Aww. 
Aww. Did you come to pee on Nikki's bed again? There's a fail piece here. I'm just gonna... Where can we go to get chicken and rice? Listen, I'm not... That's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. Um, and yeah. Justine's channel is youtube.com slash jpmets. Click my face. So, that's it. Okay, bye. song actually was it no no i don't think like so wonder ball or something wonder ball <clears throat> wonder ball yeah well like i wonder wonder what's in a wonder ball i have no clue what you're talking about oh you don't you don't remember that candy no uh, no i don't think so oh. it's probably a stupid candy